A woman was out shopping during the Advent season. It was a wet, cold, windy day, and as she was rushing from one store to another, she noticed two young boys standing on the sidewalk. They were cold, wet, and miserable. Particularly, she noticed that their shoes were in terrible shape. They were old, torn canvas sneakers, and there were socks sticking out of the holes in the shoes and toes sticking out of holes in the socks. Now she was a kind and generous woman, and she felt sorry for these two boys. She wondered to herself if there was some way she could help them, and she came up with an idea. She went up to the two boys, introduced herself, and asked them if they would be willing to help her. She explained to them that her children had all grown up and moved away from her home, and she had no one to buy Christmas presents. Would, she be, would they be willing to let her buy them a gift of new shoes as a way of filling this gap in her celebration of the Christmas season? The two boys were quite willing to do her this favor, and so they gladly went with her into a nearby shoe store where she bought both of them new, sturdy shoes and thick, warm socks. The boys put on their new socks and shoes, and the lady paid for the purchases. Then they went back outside, where the woman wished them both a Merry Christmas and started to walk away. As she walked away, the one boy stared after her very intently, and then in a loud voice yelled, Hey, lady! The woman stopped, turned around, and walked back to him. The boy, still looking very intently, asked her, Are you God? The woman laughed nervously and responded, No, no, I'm not God. And then after a moment she said, But I am one of his children, which, of course, through baptism we are. The boy nodded, satisfied with her explanation, and he said, I knew you had to be related to him, because you look just like him. It's a nice story, but it also proclaims a very important theological truth. Through baptism, we have become God's children. We have become sacraments, sacred signs of God in our world, and as such we are supposed to, in our actions and way of life, resemble him. A nun of Polish heritage once shared with me that when she was a child, Advent in her family home began with her parents putting a white cloth on the table on which, at a later time, would be arranged their nativity set. Beside the table, her parents placed a bag of straw. During Advent, each time a family member did a good deed or an act of kindness, they would take one straw from the bag and place it on top of the white cloth. Once the tabletop was abundantly covered with the straw of their good deeds, then the whole family would together, ceremoniously, put in place on the table the figurines of their nativity set. Advent is the liturgical season of preparing the way of the Lord reminding us of the three comings of Christ among us and of our obligation to be prepared always to celebrate each of them well. Prepared to celebrate his first coming in the solemnity of Christmas, his coming among us as a little child born of Mary in a stable in Bethlehem. Prepared to celebrate his second coming at the end of time when he will come in glory to gather us into his eternal kingdom, and prepared to celebrate his ongoing presence among us in word and sacrament, present through the ways that we as individuals and as a church faithfully live out our sacramental mission to be the body of Christ here on earth. Like the woman who bought the two young boys' shoes, we too are to look just like God by living with love and generosity. 
like the nuns' Polish family, we too are to spend our advent here on earth actively carpeting the world with the straw of our good deeds. And inasmuch as we do through our love, our generosity, and our goodness resemble God and prepare His way with our good deeds, we not only live a good advent, but we also make His kingdom present in our world today. May God help each one of us during this Advent season and always to resemble Jesus and to prepare His way by the good deeds of our daily lives.